If you are a beginner, zesting and juicing a lemon can be quite intimidating. When I first started, I was actually petrified to do this, but don't worry, it's very simple. The first thing you need to do is figure out which lemon is right for zesting. If there's a lot of spots in it, you don't want to use it. A few is okay. Press on it, make sure it's firm. See this one, it's very soft, it's giving. And I can actually see some really bad spots. I don't think that one's going to be a good lemon. You can use a box grater if you don't have a zester, but I recommend picking up a zester if you're going to do it a lot. But this box grater will work just fine. Next, check your cutting board. If it slides easily on the counter, you're going to want to put something underneath it. I like those silicone mats, but if you don't have a silicone mat, a towel will work well. You want it to where it'll be more firm, and if you do try to slide it, it won't slide as easily pick up one of these cheap juicers, great. If not, you can use your hand in a bowl. Finally, I recommend holding it by the blossom ends or the pointed ends. If you hold it the other way and you try to grate it, it can roll out of your hand and you will end up with grated knuckles and that is very painful. Finally, I recommend going on short little strokes, not a lot of pressure, and only go until you see it start to turn a light yellow. And then you just turn it just a little bit and go a little bit more. Taking your time and going very slowly ensures that you're not going to get hurt. If it ever gets stuck like this, don't force it. Just pick it up and try again. Forcing it will also cause injuries. And there's no sense in causing injuries to yourself. Just take it slowly. Don't worry about if you don't get all of the zest the first time or the second time or even the 15th time you zest a lemon. You're going to get better with practice, and you can go faster as you go. Now, if you go too far, it will end up being white, and it will be a little bit bitter. So don't do that if you can avoid it. I'm going to turn it and hold it purposely the wrong way, and I'm going to show you how easy it is for this to roll out of your hand. See why I don't recommend it? Obviously, I'm exaggerating to prove a point here, and I let go so I didn't hurt myself, but this is real possibility. That's why I always recommend holding by the pointed end. Sometimes you don't get all the zest. That's okay. Finally, if there's zest left on the grater, don't be tempted to use your finger. You will cut yourself. Trust me, I've done it. Use the back of a spoon and go against the grain of the grater and just scrape it onto your work surface. So now that you've learned how to zest, let's go on to actually cutting the lemon. The best thing you can do is roll this lemon before you cut it, and it will help it juice easier. Just give a little bit of pressure and just roll it a few times. You'll feel it start to give. And this actually helps you cut it safer because it's no longer as round. The next thing you want to do is make sure you always have a sharp knife. Dull knives are your enemy in the kitchen. Also, always hold by the pointed end. But put the knife down first, then grab the pointed ends. This will help you keep from cutting yourself by accident. And don't try to saw it back and forth like I just did. Instead, jab it down into the skin, hold on to the pointed ends firmly, and then cut. Let go if you have to turn it, and then readjust and then finish cutting. And that is it. You now safely cut a lemon. Now if you want to juice it, you're going to need a juicer and you'll press down firmly and then you just twist it. Be really careful not to push too hard so you don't hurt yourself. This is actually a little difficult when you have hand problems, so don't be frustrated. Take your time. And the good thing about the zester is it gets all the pulp out and you get more juice typically. And then you just pour it into a separate container and if you see any seeds, just pick them out. These typically catch the seeds for you, except for the little tiny ones. If you don't have a juicer, just use your hand. I recommend cupping it, because if you don't, as you see, it just sprays everywhere. And if you cup it, you get more of the juice into the container that you're squeezing it into. And again, readjust so you don't hurt yourself. You'll leave a little bit more behind, but not too much, and it's not significant. The main issue is having to get these seeds out. Make sure you have clean hands when you get them out, though, if, especially if you're going to use it as a topping. And then if you like, you can pour the juice on top of the zest, and it really helps marinate that flavor and get it really nice, strong flavor and smell of lemon in your home. It's absolutely wonderful cooking with lemons. 
If you're going to work with more lemons, make sure to dry off your hands in between. You don't want wet hands so you don't slip and hurt yourself. I'm going to show you this lemon because I told you that I thought it was bad and it indeed was bad. It is brown. It's really soft. When you cut into it, it's squishy. It doesn't even smell like a lemon. I hope this makes you feel more confident in learning how to zest and juice a lemon. As always, happy baking.